All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and preach the truth and truth sincerity. Shalom to the Hope Elect. And this is your brother Amawana Yash coming back at you. Uh, Amawana Yash of the Indianapolis camp, GMS Indianapolis camp, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shmi Ashai. And uh, today's lesson is going to be entitled Hope. You know, and pretty much, um, you know, over the, uh, the past couple of days, um, the word hope, you know, was, you know, uh, you know, roaming freely in my brain, on my spirit. Because pretty much, you know, in this truth, man, you know, when we come to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, our, our hope is also, you know, that Yahweh Bashmi Hashai, you know, has mercy upon us, right? That that the Lord saves us from a uh, uh, sudden danger, right? That the Lord blesses us with salvation, that the Lord keeps us in this truth, and this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? That the Lord bestows upon us immortality and an abundance of, abundance of blessings, you see? Because ultimately, that is the reward we will receive, all right, if we endure to the end, all right? Ultimately, as long as we continue to hope and wait in the Lord, guess what, man? That hope, all right, that expectation, that's what's keeping us going, all right? And that's what's keeping us pressing toward the mark. So, <clears throat> I have the word uh, hope in the uh, Edamon line, But first, I want to grab this in the book of, the book of uh, Zechariah, chapter 9 and uh, verse 12. It says, turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Because ultimately, hey, what is the stronghold talking about, man? It's talking about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see, because once again, when we come into truth, man, hey, what do we learn? All right, we learn that we're Israelites. Right, we learn are right, the names of the Most High and His only begotten Son, which the name of the Most High is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And also, we, we come to learn that they are only for the nation of Israel. All right, we ultimately learn that what salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. We understand that the kingdom, all right, that is on the way is for the nation of Israel. All right, we understand that the gift of immortality, all right, being all righteous, all right, all those things are coming unto the uh, nation of Israel, man, beginning with the elect. So those are some of the things that we hope in. And when we uh, come to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, when we come to this truth, all right, what's ultimately this truth is really our, our, our safe place, man. All right, when we come to this truth, guess what, man? All right, we, we begin, all right, to have hope, man. All right, because the things we learn, such as, you know, salvation, things, the things that I mentioned earlier, those are the things that we're hoping, and those, that's where our expectation lies, man. You see, when we come into this truth, because before we came into this truth, all right, you know, we, we didn't know uh, we was going, you know, you know, uh, profess ourselves to be Israelites, you know, and we didn't know we was going to be teaching this word. All right, we just thought we was going to be out there doing whatever, you know, just, 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 work all the days of our life you know all the way up until our death so on and so forth but ultimately right when we came to this wisdom knowledge and understanding when we came to this truth all right we ultimately we learned that that was not so also we learned that yahweh bashmi Ashai, all right has great all right plans are right, and intents for his people man beginning with the elect all right like it says even uh today do i declare that i will render double unto thee because the lord he's about to you know bless us all right with a manifold of blessings man beginning with the elect lord will we be that number all right that being what his mercy right salvation our eternal life man all right those incorruptible bodies so where we won't be able to go off where we won't have any wicked thoughts man all right that's where our whole lies in man all right so uh, slack you forgive me put this charger back in <clears throat> So I want to grab that word hope and uh, it says um, had the theological virtue of hope, uh, hope for salvation, mercy, trust in the most highest word. Also to have trust, it says have confidence, which that word confidence means with faith. So like it says, hope for salvation and mercy. Uh, let's grab this. <laughs> In the book of um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh, or we'll start at um, verse 7. 
It says, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside. We she false. So also, hey, us that fear the Lord, we're supposed to wait upon his mercy and go not aside. Meaning what? We're supposed to stay on that straight and narrow path that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai has laid out for us. Ultimately, stay within his truth. Because ultimately, we understand, like, like it goes on later on in the chapter, hey, the Lord said, Woe unto you that have lost patience. All right, we understand that if we lose patience, all right, if one day we just, you know, decide we get tired of suffering and ultimately, you know, forsake the truth, forsake Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, then guess what? That means we will fall all right we will fall into judgment all right we will fall into condemnation which also that's that is not what that is not what we want see because a hey, yahweh shai said then that knew the word of the lord and did it not i right, shall be beaten with many stripes all right yahweh shai also said what a uh, no man put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of heaven so ultimately us as the hopeful elect man we don't want to turn our backs on yahweh bashing out shai why? Because also we understand that judgment to come if you do turn your back on Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And ultimately it boils down to the fact that what? We have hope. Right? We have hope. We have faith, man. We have the expectation. Right? That if we continue in the truth, that if we continue to do what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai tells us to do to the very, very end until our dying breath, that guess what, man? The Lord is going to reward us with, our ex uh, with that expectation, man. That being what? Mercy, salvation, eternal life, man. The kingdom of heaven. All right? Those incorruptible bodies. Right? Verse 8. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's like you. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. All right, so ultimately, as long as we continue to believe in Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, which ultimately our faith in Yahweh Bashmi Ashai shows through our works, man. All right, like James, the second chapter says, What? Uh, show, me, show me thy faith. Uh, uh, by, uh, says, show, uh, I will show you my faith by, by my works, roughly paraphrasing. It's like, yeah, I didn't mean to butcher that. As a matter of fact, let's grab it. Well, it's been a minute since I uh, <coughs> read that scripture. It's <coughs> like, the book of James, chapter 2, and uh, <coughs> we'll just jump, jump straight to the point. It says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith uh, without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So ultimately, hey, we show our belief, or we show our faith uh, in Yahweh by Shemiyashai by our works, man. Right, let's also grab a couple more scriptures, then we'll jump back to a Sirach. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Shalakia. Slaki, forgive me. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. So ultimately, we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Therefore, we profess all right, the scriptures, man. All right, we teach the scriptures out in the open on the highways and byways boldly. All right, tell you. All right, telling the nation of Israel to repent, man. All right, telling all right, the nation of Israel of the coming promises. Right? And the coming blessings that's coming into the nation of Israel. You see, but ultimately, at the end of the day, only the elect is going to take heed and be drawn, all right, back to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Or ultimately, a hey, two thirds of our people, man, they can't see the vision. All right? They don't see the things that we're talking about. Why? Because ultimately, they don't have hope, man. All right? <clears throat> Their expectation lies, all right, in this world, man. All right? Not in the world to come. All right? And then um, also, let's grab this. In the book of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Second Ezra, chapter nine, and um, beginning verse, we'll read uh, verses seven through eight. It says, and everyone that should be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. All right, so ultimately, like it says, that's the point we just read. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So ultimately, we understand. All right, according to a couple scriptures, the scriptures we just read, all right, and manifold scriptures, that ultimately, right, uh, your, your works and faith, all right, go hand in hand. All right, prime example, man, hey, our forefather Abraham, man, right? And the scriptures speak upon how the faith of Abraham, all right, was uh, uh, counted unto him as righteousness, man. You know, so ultimately, hey, the works we do, our faith in Yahweh, Bashmi Yashai, guess what, man? That's counted uh, uh, unto us as righteousness, man. It says, I shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation and my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them uh, for me from the beginning. And guess what, man? That that is uh, where our hope or our expectation lies in, man. Salvation. 
All right, seeing the salvation that Yahweh Bashmi Yashai brings to his elect, man, Lord, will be that number, man? Are receiving those new and corruptible glorious bodies, man? Receiving immortality, man. Right, receiving a glory that's promised to the elect, man. That's where our hope and that's where our expectation lies in, right? <coughs> so jumping back to uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 2 and uh, verse 9. It says, ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. All right, and once again, our, our hope, all right. Lies in what mercy from me, how will shy salvation, so on and so forth, man. So, ultimately, hey, those that fear the Lord, hey, guess what, man? The elect, man, the hopeful elect, man, they're gonna be hoping and, and, and you know, praying and you know, begging for mercy, man. You know, always in the head, you know, like, Lord, you know, please have mercy upon me, all right. Always hoping, always, you know, thinking in your mind, you know, praying and hoping. All right, for the mercy from me, how will shy because at the end of the day, man, hey, we we all we all need mercy, man. Okay, we all need mercy from you. I will bash me on shot. All right, we we need deliverance from this wicked flesh that we're trapped in. These chains of darkness. All right, we need we need we need deliverance. All right, from these wicked hearts of ours. Cause hey, uh, hey, the thing is, man, hey, you know we're wicked, man. You know we're wicked. Hey, the scriptures say what in uh, uh um um Isaiah the fifty four chapter that what our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So also that's why we need I was shot. You see, because ultimately the amount of righteousness all right, that we do of our own selves, right? <clears throat> also, that's not enough to uh, clear all the wickedness that we've done throughout all the generations. So ultimately, hey, our hope is what? In the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, that we're covered under the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? Because ultimately, hey, hey, if we be covered under the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, especially on this side, then guess what, man? That means that means we would all right, have obtained the mercy of the Lord, and that would make us a de-elect, man. <laughs> All right, so ultimately, hey, once again, man, hey, title of this lesson, you know, being hope, man. You see, because our hope, our expectation, all right, it, it lies in the fact that what the Lord is going to deliver us from these uh, 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 bodies of death, man. All right, and the Lord is going to deliver us, all right, from uh, incoming danger and show everlasting mercy and favor upon us, man. And that's where our hope and that's where our expectation lies at, man. All right, let's grab uh, this <clears throat> in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 3. And uh, we'll jump straight to the point at verse four. It says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, so also you know the, the chastisements, you know, the afflictions, the various different hardships we go through, right? Because in the sight of men, all right, you no know, man, the thing, you know, just because we're going, you know, through something that we're dealing with something that ultimately that, that, that the Lord is not dealing with us. But ultimately, a hey, us in the know, we understand that this is the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, proving us, man. Right, and if we endure to the end, right, if we continue and carry out into the very, very end and endure the hardships and afflictions, all right, that is set before our faces, guess what, man? Guess what? We're going to receive the reward. As we're going to read, yet is there hope full of immortality, man? See, so our hope, our expectation lies in immortality, which ultimately, that is the fuel, right, <clears throat> that keeps us moving forward in this truth, man. All right, no matter how, uh, how, how heavy our minds weigh down on us, man. All right, no matter how much we're being afflicted in the flesh, man. All right, no matter the the, the amount of afflictions and hardships we go through, a hey, our hope is in immortality. So you know, knowing that our hope and uh, expectation are right, is in immortality, right? That reward is immortality, the kingdom of heaven, salvation, everlasting mercy. Guess what, man? Right, that hope in those things is going to keep us going, man. Keep us move, moving forward in its truth. In verse five, it says, "And having been a little chastised." They shall be greatly rewarded, right? So ultimately, if we keep that hope, right? If we continue to keep the expectation, that faith in Yahweh will me outside to the very, very end, guess what, man? We shall be greatly rewarded, man. It says, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself, man. And ultimately, the, the Lord, Yahweh will me outside, is proving us, okay, through the various different trials, tests, and tribulations that we endure on this side, right? It's ultimately, A, the Lord is testing you to see whether you're going to serve him to see if you're going to serve him through the good and the evil, right? Just like he did Job, man. And we know Job passed the test, right? Because Job, you know, the, the, hey, our forefather Job, he lost everything, man. You know, from his children, all right, to his cattle, to his substance, to his health, right? His wife turned against him, all right? But ultimately, he endured all that, kept his integrity, and guess what happened, man? Hey, the, hey, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, 
bless Job, are with double fold of what he had before, man. You know, hey, a prime example, all right, that we look after is who, man? Our, our Lord Yahweh Shai, our Savior. Right, he endured all the chastisements, all the stripes, you know, all the hardships and tribulations that he went through. And where is he right now? Sitting on the right hand side of the heavenly Father Yahweh in his glorious body, right in his glory. So, ultimately, if we if we hope to achieve that same glory, right, if we want to make it, all right, to that expectation, if we want our hope manifesting unto us, guess what, man? We got to endure to the end. Verse six. It says, uh, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Right, you know, the scriptures in the Isaiah, the 48th chapter, I believe it is, says, well, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. I'm going to show you that what the heat we catch is ultimately likened to affliction. Uh, verse 7, it says, <clears throat> it says, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. And that's also part of our, of our hope, man expectation that the lord blesses us are with that spiritual power man because hey that time is coming where the lord yahweh by shmi Shai is getting ready to raise up his men with that spiritual power man all right use them as instruments of judgment are on whom the lord yahweh by shmi Shai wants to be judged man verse 8 they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and, the, and their lord shall reign forever and that's also our hope man the fact that we're getting ready to inherit slaves man servants in the kingdom of heaven so, uh, you know, our, our hope, man, our, our expectation, it comprises, you know, of manifold things, man. Or the kingdom of heaven, salvation, everlasting life, incorruptible bodies, man, slaves, planets, dominion, dominion, right? Universes, lands, substance, so on and so forth, man. All right, these are all the blessings that Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to bestow upon us, all right, if we endure into the end, right? Verse 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath care for his elect man and ultimately once again we pray and hope all right that we're of the elect which is why what we call ourselves the hope elect right so um let's see that's uh that's it in the book of uh wisdom of solomon 3 of the 17 minutes that went by fast but um Let's grab this in the book of um, <clears throat> Psalms chapter 33 and uh, verse um, verse uh, 18. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him and upon them that hope in his mercy. Now we grab the, um, the definition of hope in the etymon. Let's see what it says in the blue letter. <laughs> so like you uh hope it's the hebrew word yahal and it says to wait hope expect to wait it says to wait so ultimately you get the point it says to wait hope and expect and ultimately what is commanded unto us in zephaniah the third chapter to uh like the lord said wait ye wait ye upon me saith the lord all right so ultimately as we're waiting all right, upon Yahweh Bashmi Ashad to come back and deliver us, right, to bestow that salvation upon us. Our our meditation, all right, is, a, is upon his mercy, man. The mercy that he's going to show to the, unto the elect, man. Lord's will be that number, all right? So, Psalms 33 and 18 says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. And see, also, when we fear the Lord, man. We we fear, all right, the judgments that Yahweh Bashmi Ashad said that he's going to bring in these last times, man, because ultimately, Hey, no, knowing the terror of the Lord, guess what, man? We don't, you know, we don't want to, you know, be caught up or right, in the evils and the perilous times that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is bringing upon the earth these last days, man. Hey, we want to be protected, man. All right, so ultimately understanding the judgments and the evils that are coming upon the earth these last days, knowing the work that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is getting ready to perform, guess what, man? We hope in His mercy, man. Our, our expectation, all right, is in His mercy as, as long as we continue to do what we're supposed to do, man. Right, and do his will. And verse 19 says to deliver their soul from death, man. The Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is getting ready to bring a lot of death, and I mean a lot of death into the world, be it the plagues and evils that he's bringing upon the earth in these last uh, last days, man. 
right? It's just, and they keep them alive and fem. You see, because, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai said what in Isaiah 65? That his servant shall eat, man. So, ultimately, hey, our hope also lies in the fact that the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, will be with us, all right, in these dark days ahead of us, man, known as the time of Jacob's trouble. Verse 20. Our soul waited for the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He is our help and our shield, meaning what the Lord is our protector, man. He's our protection. All right, like the scripture say in uh, Proverbs uh, 18 and uh, 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe, right? Verse 21, for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. All right, one name, one name for the Heavenly Father and one name for His Son. We said it earlier, the name of the Heavenly Father being what? Yahweh, right, and His Son's name, Yahweh Shai. And those are the names that we as the hopeful elect trust in, man, because those are the names that's going to, all right, get us out of sudden death, man. Those are the names that's going to bring salvation unto us, man. All right, not knowing Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yeshua, none of that, man. All right, and, and you, can, you can tell, you can tell... All right, the difference in vibration, right, when it, between, all right, the, the true names of the Most High and His Son, and, and between, all right, compared to what these false names that these false prophets throw out there. Just just say the name Yahweh, right, why Yahweh Shai, all right, the, several times over, man. You you can, I, I don't know how to explain it, but you can just feel the power in those names, man, right? You can't, you can't feel the same force in Yeshua, Yahuwah. Yahweh, those names, they don't they don't carry the same force and the same power that the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai carry, man. Verse 22, it says, Let thy mercy, O Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Right? Also, we, we went into the word hope, meaning what to expect. Right, so ultimately, we expect all right, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, and we pray that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai shows mercy upon us in these times, man, and bestows upon us salvation, man. Okay, um, let's see here. <coughs> Salakia. This is, um, uh, Romans chapter eight verse twenty four. It says, "For we, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it?" So ultimately, if he sees something already in front of you, what's the point of hoping for it? For it, right? Because at the end of the day, it's already in front of you. But at the end of the day, hey, we haven't seen salvation yet. All right, we haven't seen Yahweh why Yahweh shy, man. So ultimately, hey, we we long. All right, to see, all right, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. We long to see salvation. So, also, those are the certain things that we're hoping for, man. All right, we're, we're, we're hoping all right, and expecting to be here. All right, when ultimately Yahweh Bashmi Ashai right, is revealed from the heavens, man. All right, and ultimately, once again, those are that we haven't seen that yet. So, also, we continue to hope and expect it, man. Right, and the reason why we continue to expect and hope for it is what the scriptures say that the Lord is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. So, understanding that we understand the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is going to stay true to his word, and we're going to continue to hope in the manifestation of the prophecies, man. All right, it says, um, and let's see what that word hope says in the Greek. It says, um Strong's G sixteen eighty, El Peace, El Peace. It says El Peace, and uh, we'll, we'll jump around in some of these definitions. Um, I'm looking at two, uh, right now, or three. Uh, it jumps to definition two. It says expectation of good, hope. Not a reason why I didn't read definition one because what it says expectation of evil, fear. Now also. All right, if we're doing this work at Yahweh Bashmi Ashai and truth and sincerity, all right, if we're doing what the Lord commanded us uh, uh, to do, then, then why would we expect evil to fall upon us, man? All right? Now, also, we understand we're going to be present, all right, during the evil days, man, and during the bad times, right? But also, we understand that even in the time of evil, in it, even in these bad times, all right, that also the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, is going to bestow us mercy upon us, man, all right, and protect us from these bad times, man. And at the end, at the end of everything, bestow upon us salvation, right? 
uh, let's jump here. It says joyful and confident expectation of return of salvation. So also we got to have the faith that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is going to save us, man, and bestow salvation upon us. And also, hey, you're gonna have demons, you know, creep into your mind with the thoughts of doubt, man. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta fight, man, and continue doing what Yahweh Bashmi Ashai commanded us to do, man. Because Yahweh Shai said, what? He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Hey, so as long as we still fighting, man, as long as we still doing all right, this work and truth and sincerity, man, all right, as long as we still have the ability all right, to call upon the names of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh guess what? The Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is giving us a fighting chance, man. And he has not casted us away. Okay? Uh, definition B, it says the thing hoped for. And what's the thing hoped for? Salvation. Right? Eternal life. Those incorruptible bodies, man. Being all righteous, man. Not being able to go off ever again, man. Being able to please Yahweh Bashmi Ashai 100%, man. No more wicked thoughts, man. All right? Just prosperity, man. Those are the things we hope for. So, um, verse 25, it says, But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. And what have we not? We haven't seen, all right, the Most High Yahweh. We haven't seen his son, Yahweh Shai. We haven't seen the salvation of the elect yet. Lord, will be that elect number. We haven't seen the kingdom of heaven. So knowing that we hope, like it says, or like Apostle Paul just said, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So also we endure the sufferings that we go through because that word patience goes into suffering. So we endure the sufferings that we go through right now. All right, and we're patiently all right, waiting all right, for the Most High Yahweh. All right, to send back his son, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels, all right, to save his elect, man, and destroy this kingdom, man. All right, we're patiently waiting, all right, for those incorruptible bodies, man. We're patiently waiting for immortality, man. And it's right around the corner, right? Now, in the flesh, man, all right, it's, it's, it's going to seem like, you know, it, you know the, 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 uh, the, the afflictions, the hardships, man, or the chastisements last forever, man. But that's not so. You know, that's not so because... Hey, everything we going through right now, man. All right, when when the, when the kingdom of heaven comes, man. All right, the things we going through right now is going to be nothing compared compared to the glory that should be revealed within us. All right, when Yahweh Bashmi Ashai returns to save his elect, man, Lord, we'll be at that number. So ultimately, hey, we just gotta you know stay patient and like the scriptures say, in in, in, in your patience, uh, possess ye your souls. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? So ultimately, hey, we gotta stick to the script, man. We gotta endure until the very very end. You see? And once again, as, as I've quoted, all right, as a matter of fact, let's grab it, man. Because it's been quoted many times. All right, so let's, let's just get it. Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 13. And this is, uh, these are words on the red letters. These are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And also, hey, what's, what's, uh, 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 what's motivating us to continue to endure unto the very, very end, man? All right, that faith that we have in Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. All right, that hope, that expectation. All right, and ultimately, what does our hope and our expectation lie in? Salvation, the mercy of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Immortality, the kingdom. Right, so ultimately, the fact, all right, that we're still fighting, right, and still enduring, that shows what? The ultimate Yahweh Bashmi Ashai has not forsaken us, man. You know? So, hey, man, we just got to, you know, keep enduring, you know, keep running this race, man, with patience, man. And, hey, man, we 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 close to the finish line, all right? And ultimately, hey, in the race, man, all right, you don't you don't you don't look back, all right? When you get close to the finish line, man, you keep you keep charging forward, man. All right, and ultimately, hey, us is the hope we elect, man. The only way we know is forward, right? So pretty much, um, I believe the point has been made through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. I I pray that this lesson was uh, exhorting, you know, motivating, and uh, edifying to the hope we elect. You know, uh, out there, man, whoever of the household of faith is watching this video. And, uh, you know, without further ado, I'm going to close out. And I'd like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Kudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And Lord, I see you in the next lesson. Till then, Shalom.